This video will guide you through reviewing a franchise agreement. Franchise Agreement Review is a frequently requested service on the Contracts Council platform since franchisees and franchisors want to understand the terms before signing. If you have received a franchise agreement and need to review it, then this video is for you. Before we start, just a brief disclaimer. The following information is provided for educational purposes and in no way constitutes legal advice. For legal advice, we encourage you to consult a licensed attorney. We have also provided more information in the description, including how to find a lawyer. We will cover top considerations when reviewing a franchise agreement, key terms to find and understand in your agreement, costs to hire a lawyer for review. We have also added a link in the description below with information on legal fees. Now let's get started. Top considerations for franchise agreements. Franchise agreements are legally binding documents that outline the relationship between the franchisor and franchisee. Before diving into specific terms, here are some top considerations to keep in mind. Franchise fees. It is important for the agreement to clearly state the initial franchise fees, as well as any ongoing fees such as royalties and advertising contributions. Territory. Understand the exclusivity and boundaries of the territory granted to the franchisee. Clarify if the territory is protected and how it might change over time. Support and training. Detail the support and training provided by the franchisor. This includes initial training, operational support, marketing support, and ongoing assistance. Compliance with laws. The agreement must comply with relevant franchise disclosure laws and regulations. Ensure that you have received the Franchise Disclosure Document, or FDD, as required by law. And consider hiring a lawyer. It is always recommended to hire a lawyer to help review a franchise agreement. They can ensure the document is legally compliant, help you understand industry standard terms, and coach you on negotiations. We have included a link in the description to help you find one. Key terms to understand. Franchise agreements contain many important terms that you should understand. Here are some key terms to look for. One, parties involved. Ensure that the names and details of the franchisor and franchisee are correctly stated. Make sure the full legal names of the businesses or individuals are used. Two, franchise fees. Review the section that specifies the initial and ongoing fees, including royalties, marketing, and other contributions. Make sure these terms align with your financial expectations. Three, Territory. Look for the section that defines the franchisee's territory, including any exclusivity rights and conditions for expansion or modification. 4. Trademark and branding. Ensure the agreement specifies rights to use the franchisor's trademarks, logos, and branding materials. Understand any guidelines for their usage. 5. Operating standards. Review the operational standards and procedures that the franchisee must adhere to. Ensure you are comfortable with the level of control imposed by the franchisor. 6. Renewal and termination. Understand the conditions for renewing or terminating the agreement. This includes any notice periods, renewal fees, and conditions under which termination can occur. 7. Liability and indemnification. Understand the liability and indemnification clauses, which outline responsibilities and protections in case of losses or damages resulting from the franchise business operations. And eight, dispute, resolution, review the methods for resolving disputes between the franchisor and franchisee, such as mediation, arbitration, or court litigation. Average costs to hire a lawyer. Hiring a lawyer to review your franchise agreement is advisable. Contracts Council's Marketplace allows you to post your project and receive competitive bids from lawyers to compare. Based on recent data, the average cost to review a franchise agreement is $670 on a flat fee basis. This is based on 25 recent projects from across various U.S. states. Legal fees can vary based on the following factors. State or location. Lawyer fees may vary based on where they are located. For example, a lawyer in New York City will likely have a higher rate than a lawyer in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Length of contract, given lawyers traditionally bill by the hour, a longer contract with more pages will require more of their time, which can make the legal costs higher. Complexity of terms. If there are complicated terms in the agreement, it can increase legal fees since it will require the lawyer to spend more time working on the project. Service required. You can hire lawyers for different services. 
If you simply need the contract reviewed and explained, this will be a lower fee than also needing the contract redlined and negotiated. Reviewing a franchise agreement is crucial in ensuring you protect your rights and establish a successful franchise relationship. If you need help from an experienced lawyer, feel free to search Contracts Council or visit contractscouncil.com and post a job to get quotes from lawyers to help you. Thanks for watching.